Vikings seem to be in fashion these days. We don't mean the helmets, which would be cool to see on people as they go about their local Asda, but Vikings in general. The success of Assassin's Creed Valhalla might have set the stage, but the groundbreaking release of Valheim has both struck the match and lit the fuse on the genre. If you're a fan of playing as a Scandinavian pillager roaming the lands in search of glory, then it's one hell of a good year to be a gamer. For those on a Viking buzz, there's no mead to let yourself go cold turkey. Get it? Mead. It rhymes with need. There's plenty of different Viking games for you to tuck into across the many genres and platforms. I'm Daryl for Cultured Vultures and we've listed the best Viking games of all time for you to get lost in, whether you're looking to explore Midgard, Jotunheim, or even more fantastical lands of long lost Europe. Slap like, we are <laughs> Viking for your attention. Alright, we deserve to get raided for that one. 10 Dead in Vinland Dead in Vinland is unique, if nothing else. It's a survival management game that's got some RPG mechanics splashed in and does a pretty good job of marrying both. However, it's got that free Facebook game aesthetic, but don't let that put you off buying this game. It's got 81% positive reviews on Steam for a reason. The game is actually a sequel to a previous title called Dead in Bermuda, but we wouldn't worry about playing that before picking up Dead in Vinland. The story is simple and well put together, which seems to be the norm for Viking games. You're leading your family on a survival journey after being exiled. However, where this game shines is in its gameplay. Combat is built off a road turn based system with RPG elements. It's a near identical system to Darkest Dungeon, so if you've played that, you know what you're in for. If you haven't played Darkest Dungeon, by the way, do us a favour and go and play that. In fact, the overall gameplay experience is remarkably similar to DD with a character management system that keeps the nerves on edge with every turn. It's not a game for everyone, but it reminds us of Marmite. You're either going to love this title or you'll hate it. There's no in between. 9. Ancestor's Legacy Ancestor's Legacy only came out in 2018, with a PS4 release in 2019 and a Switch port in 2020, yet it's never really found a huge audience. That kind of time frame means that the game is able to deliver an old school genre title that has a modern tech backing it. This combines into an RTS that offers one of the smoothest PC to console ports that we have ever seen. Its story is what stands out the most. It's a well-waved Viking tale that actually manages to keep its gameplay objectives relevant to the plot, which is something that is underappreciated these days. What we will say is that the gameplay is remarkably unremarkable. It's built on an infantry-based rock-paper-scissors system, but if we wanted gameplay like that, we would go and play Pokemon. Regardless, it's still a solid title, especially on PS4 and Xbox. If you're looking for a gritty Norse experience though, you're arguably not going to find it here. 8. Crusader Kings 3 Remember that, and your dynasty will rule this land through the ages. Let's be honest, half of you are here because of Valheim and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and the other half of you are here because of Crusader Kings 3 and you want to rampage across the world some more. Crusader Kings isn't a Viking game, but like For Honor, it lets you play as Vikings. Unlike For Honor though, rather than having a game solely built on PvP combat, Crusader Kings 3 is like Civilization but on steroids. I'd be shocked if you haven't played either this or any of the Civilization games, but that just means you should rush out to pick up this title even quicker. There's no major plotline, as is the case with most grand strategy games. Instead, each individual run as its own self-contained story. The way you build up your Viking clan and deal with other nations is going to be unique each time you play, especially given just how deep a lot of the systems in Crusader Kings 3 are. Crusader Kings 3 only came out in 2020 as well, so the game is still very much being supported by Paradox. 7. Jotun Now we're talking. While a lot of the games on this list use Vikings as nothing more than a window dressing or as one of many features, Jotun isn't afraid to immerse itself into specific parts of Norse mythology. Specifically, the game sees you travelling across the Nine Realms to defeat the Jotun themselves. 
That's a simple premise that lends way to simple gameplay, but Jotun is so much more than that. It's got real heart and soul to it, something like AAA titles like Ferrana struggle to achieve. There is clearly love and effort put into this title, as is evident by just how beautiful the art direction is. While Jotun only ranks at number 7 in this list, it's among the best strictly indie Viking games out there. It's also as hard as a golem's dick, so good luck. 6. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Assassin's Creed Valhalla exceeded everyone's expectations at launch. That's saying something too, because all eyes were on Ubisoft after the success of Odyssey. Valhalla is much more than a Viking game than it is a traditional Assassin's Creed game, much like Black Flag was more of a game about being a pirate than an assassin. While that's perhaps terrible for OG Assassin's Creed fans, it's great if you're looking for a Viking gaming experience. It also does jump into Norse mythology quite a bit, which shouldn't be such a standout point for a Viking game, but it is. At the end of the day though, this is still a Ubisoft Assassin's Creed game. There are microtransactions, it's full of grinding, and it's going to get repetitive over what feels like it's 50,000 hours of its slowly opening open world map. On the other hand though, it's also teeming with life, solid combat and a winding story, which actually makes it one of the best Viking games ever made. Skull. 5. Bad North Oh man, what a gem this is. When a roguelite, RTS, glorified tower defense game is beating out a multi-million dollar AAA title, you know it's something special. However, do not play Bad North if you're looking for a Norse story because you're not going to be getting it. Bad North uses Vikings as a point of stylization and doesn't necessarily do all that much of it. If you're just into Vikings for the theme and not the mythology though, this should immediately be at the top of your wish list. It's the perfect game to kill some time with here and there, and we mean that on account of the fact that Bad North is also available on mobile. You lead your people from island to island, each time requiring you to fend off Viking invaders. That's all, but what else did you expect from a roguelite? Seriously though, it doesn't need to be anything more than this. At all. 4. Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Control. A way to pull through. Is Hellblade the most well-known indie game of all time? It's up there, and just as well because it is astonishing. So astonishing that it's getting a sequel with Microsoft's backing after they purchased its developer, and how many actual indie games can say that? Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, is a dark fantasy action-adventure RPG, so already we're all over that. Throwing Vikings as a thematic point on top of that genre makes the game feel like it was developed exclusively for us, and at this point, we kind of think it was. Its story is beautiful. You're tasked with travelling to Helheim to retrieve the soul of your lost lover, and we're more than willing to admit that we fell in love with that plot. It's clear that this game was written to be a Viking game rather than made as a game with a Viking skin, and that's something we really appreciate. If you're going to play any title on this list, make it this one. Even if it didn't quite crack the top three, it's one of those rare gaming experiences that sits with you long after you finish playing. 3. Northgard. Yes, Northgard is a top-down game, and yes, it's in the top three. The fact that we rate it so highly, despite the genre not being in our everyday wheelhouse, should be all the convincing you need. Northgard is a progression-based RTS that sees you leading your clan on an expedition to a newly discovered landmass. It's simple, as all games of this nature are, but it's built on a randomised map generator that guarantees you never quite get bored with it. What really pushes this game up a notch, though, is the fact that it has online co-op. It has PvP too, but that's something that we've shied away from. Not because we're bad at games or anything, we're actually too good at them and don't want to make people feel bad. <coughs> hmm. It's rather expensive as indie titles go, but more than worth the investment if you can convince a friend to pick it up with you. 2. The Banner Saga
2014. 2014 is when the Banner Saga came out. It's almost 10 years later, and we still consider it the second best Viking game ever made. A Switch port recently came out in 2018, and how many four-year-old games that aren't Skyrim, Mario, or GTA get ports? Wait, what? What do you mean 2018 isn't recent? Four years ago? What the fuck? The Banner Saga is a stylized tactical RPG with a tile-based combat system, all of which is remarkably well made when you consider that the project was funded on Kickstarter. However, this little fact is the most important thing about the game. The Banner Saga, even more than Jotun, has heart. It was made by gamers, for gamers, and it shows. The world is Viking inspired rather than being outright Norse, but that just gave the developers more room for creativity and they took advantage of that. The game features two playable characters, each with their own story, as well as a multitude of choices and diverging paths that affect what events you see in game. I'm not going to go into any detail because I don't want to spoil this masterpiece on you, so do yourself a favour and pick it up, and then the other two amazing parts to complete the trilogy. It's out on PS4, Xbox One, PC and Switch, so you really have no excuse. And at number one, Valheim. Of course, Valheim is number one. It's the whole reason we were inspired to make this list in the first place. Given the whole global lockdown thing that dominated 2020, many didn't expect much from games in 2021, but Valheim brought in the new year with much more of a nuki the blast than a bang. In just one short month, it's become one of the most popular games on Steam. When you consider it was made by a five-person team and isn't a party game like Among Us, that's an incredible statistic. It's a passion project that has changed the online survival genre forever in less than 30 days of release. Valheim is a role-playing survival game that sees you setting up shop in an afterlife where you play as a viking, but you're not exactly in Valhalla. It's a sandbox experience, meaning you carve out your own path with your friends as you craft souls and shelter to try and keep yourself safe from all the enemies lurking about the place. The fact that Valheim is such a solid experience already is very telling for the future. The game is only going to continue getting support for the next few years, so get your ticket punched now before you're left too far behind. And there you have it, the best Viking games. As ever, did you agree? Did you disagree? Toot upon thine Viking horns, my squires, and let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell as well to catch all content coming to the channel. Check out the website, culturedvultures.com, the social media's on screen there as well, because there's lots to enjoy, and enjoy your show. With that said, we'll catch you in the next one, but until then, until then, cuckoo.